Shalom and Salam from the city of David, HLM partners and friends. I want to bring you a quick urgent request just to stop for a minute when you can, when possible, and just to fervently, urgently, just to get on your knees with me if you can. Just take a moment just to pray and just to call on, on the Lord to release his angels to cover and protect every person in our beloved land, in our beloved land of our Lord, the promised land, over the city of Jerusalem, the city of Bethlehem, over the city of uh, uh, the Lod and Ashdod and Ashkelon and Zerot and Gaza, Ramallah, Hebron, these areas. And what is the specific request I'm asking you to do to pray? Just to pray that the Lord would quench the desire of any human being um, uh, that has desire for evil. Um, and that he would quench that desire for hatred and killing and animosity and bloodshed and revenge. That is right now a fear and a concern is that many of this young generation uh, have been bottling up a stress and hopelessness, and disparity and fear. Um, and, and it's going to start showing up randomly in the streets and uh, vicious violence and vicious beatings, vicious attacks that's been happening the last uh, several days. We know, Bible says that if we are silent, the land, if we are silent, silent over the spilling of the blood, uh, the land itself would swallow us and would spew us out. And I will not be silent. I just spoke to several of my Muslim friends who are Muslim leaders and influencers, and we're, we're discussing a possible plan to do something together, uh, reaching out to some of my Jewish friends and rabbis as well to talk about a couple ideas uh, that, that we have and, and how we can be a voice to this young generation. Um, and for me, the voice that we will bring as believers in Christ is blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. Uh, the, the message we bring is where Christ says, uh, uh, love your neighbor as yourself to love your enemy. And the, the whole message, it's summed up, Paul sums it up in two words or a few words. Uh, God is love. Um, and for us to show our love to, to God is by loving others around us. Um, and of course, with love comes speaking the truth and with love comes guiding people with the right path of the right truth. And for us, the right path is is the the message of jesus christ but it starts with the middle eastern culture starts with the relationship starts with uh, building respect and re building um integrity amongst them and building rapport amongst them so that you can have the power of influence and that's the second thing i'm asking you to pray that's on my heart is to pray that god will give us high influence um over more people over the next couple of days as the fear is all over that this is going to escalate even more and more and more uh ramadan has just ended uh, at midnight uh, here in, in a few minutes, uh, it will be officially Ramadan is completely over. Tomorrow will be their holiday for the next three, three and a half days or so. It'll be a holiday. So um, uh, we pray that as of midnight here in a few minutes um, uh, or in, in, less, in less than uh, 10 or 15 minutes, we pray, I pray and I ask the Lord uh, that uh, there will be something birthed new in the atmosphere, uh, that there will be a, a, a spirit of calmness amongst the communities. Um, so would you just join me right now in prayers? Pray with me. All I ask is that you pray with me. We pr who are we praying for? Praying for both the Jew and the Arab. Uh, we're not praying for one side. We're praying for both. God loves both sides. God cares for both sides. God wants salvation and hope for both sides. So we pray with me. Lord and Father, I pray and ask you in your name, in the righteous, in your righteousness name, Lord, in, in your in your name, in the name of your Son Jesus Christ, I come before you from the city of David, from Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Lord. I pray for peace. I pray for blessings. I pray for joy, Lord. I pray, Lord. Uh, I ask you as your servant in Jerusalem, Lord. I ask you right now, Lord, that you would just quench, release your angels to quench any. Um, any attacks from the enemy. Lord, we pray, Lord, that your name would be imprinted on the heart of every young Arab and every young Jewish person in this country. I pray, Lord, for the salvation. I pray for peace, for love, and for calmness. Lord, I speak it, Lord, just like you commanded the storms to calm down. Lord, Lord we learn in Hebrew, Hagar, or in Greek, Lord, in Hebrew, Gar, which is to, to rebuke, sorry, rebuke 
in your name any spirit of violence and revenge um, and any spirit of hopelessness. We rebuke that in your name and we command uh, that your peace, you command your name. Lord, you said it's the peace that you give is not like the, like the world gives, but you give us peace that's everlasting. So I pray, Lord, that, that once midnight strikes in Yeshua's name, I pray for calmness, Lord, to begin to be evidently seen in Jerusalem in the land. Lord, I speak, Lord, let your name shine and be, be and arise above us, Lord. Uh, we speak against any evil formed against these cities that we mentioned and cities where the, where the evil one is planting. Lord, we speak and we say no evil formed against them shall prosper. So I pray we bring people into your saving knowledge. And we thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you've gone, done through us in the last 30, 40 years in, in the Holy Land. I thank you for what you're about to do in midnight tonight. So thank you, Lord. Thank you for our, our thank you, Lord, for our HLM partners and friends who stand with us. Um, Lord, we know you love the Muslim people. Lord, we know you love the Jewish people. You love the, the Christian community. You love the Arab race, the Jewish. Lord, Lord, you are God of love. So we speak against that. We speak against any, um, any violence, any bitterness, any hatred. Lord, we speak peace. Lord, there's no justification for any of this. So we thank you, Lord, for what you're about to do. So, Jesus, and Father, Lord, in the next 24 hours, I pray, as your servant, I ask you, me, myself, and those watching, we pray fervently for your name to just to be felt and your spirit to be felt in the hearts, homes, and the minds of every person in this country. Lord, we surrender. As I pray, behind me are the mountains and the villages and towns of Judea, Jerusalem, in Bethlehem over there in the shepherd's fields in the back hills. God bless you folks. Thank you again for your heart, your love. Thank you just for standing with us over the years as we continue to make his name known.